Good morning from Ponta da Piedade in Lagos. This was the place that was uh, recommended me the most uh, by people. By the way, thank you so much to all of you who gave me recommendations of uh, locations here in Dalgarve. This one is pretty cool, so I really appreciate it. And you can tell that this is a very popular spot, judging just by the size of the parking lot. This is one of the advantages of going to locations off season. This is a location for the summer, clearly. And now in December, there is no one here, so I have the whole place uh, for myself. Also, the weather is really nice. Today is an awesome day for photography, at least for black and white photography. This is an hour after sunrise, it's cloudy, so the light is not gonna change much. So I can take my time. I'm gonna start taking some compositions here of the arches here, long exposures. And I'm gonna do it first with my digital camera. I'm gonna check if I can do the same with the Bronica. I don't have a wide angle lens and I might need it for here, but we will see about that. Alright, so I've been here for a while. I took a bunch of pictures with my digital camera. I took a couple of them with the Veronica. It's a beautiful spot, but there is not much else I can do here because this is a very limited space. I would like to go down there because I believe that I could use that hole there in the rocks to frame that uh, needle there. Uh, that would be a nice composition, actually. I think I could make it down there. I just don't know how I will come back up here. I think this would be the best spot to try. But this is still pretty high for me and with all the camera gear and with the tripod, so that's a bummer, but yeah. Since I wasn't able to get down to the beach, I had to look for another ways to get different angles. My first try was quietly unsuccessful. My leg is not the most stable surface for the tripod. Then I tried to use the center column, which can be switched to a horizontal position to get that angle I was looking for, but uh, it didn't work either. It didn't extend far enough. I had to take some risks as I placed one of the legs on the rocks, some 5 or 6 feet above the beach, maybe? That combined with the center column move gave me the shot that I had in mind. I'm going to buy a smaller tripod, this one is just too big for my needs, but today I was glad I had it with me. It wasn't the best image ever, but definitely the best I made down there. Alright, so the sun is out and there are quite a few more people here now, so I will be leaving shortly but I still wanted to come up here to get a different view of the place and maybe look for some compositions up here. This place is stunning and really beautiful. 
I don't know if these uh, compositions are gonna work from up here in black and white, but uh, I'm trying. One thing that I deeply regret is that I don't have the drone with me. I left it at the apartment and that was a huge mistake. This place is perfect for a drone, it's beautiful. I didn't record a proper ending for this uh, video, but I just wanted to thank all of you for all your support. This channel just reached uh, 2,000 subscribers, which is pretty awesome. I mean, I know that is nothing compared to others, but I'm very thankful for every one of you. So thank you so much for being there. I was thinking since some of you are new to this channel uh, about making a Q&A video, I've never done one of those. Uh, so if you have any questions, it could be about me, my equipment, digital film, about traveling, whatever you have in your mind and you have something uh, to ask, please leave a comment down below. And yeah, if there are enough questions, I will make a, a video like that. Also, I haven't had much time lately, but I do reply to all the comments. So if you've left a comment and I didn't get back to you, I will pretty soon. I apologize for that. But yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. And oh, it's pretty windy now. And see you in the next one.